During this video, I'm going to be showing you how easy it is to create full length, you know, full blown sales funnels, squeeze page funnels, launch funnels, you know, any kind of funnel you can think of. I'm going to show you how we can create those with the Instant Builder Funnel plugin. Now, if you purchase this plugin, you're going to install this plugin the same way that you installed the original Instant Builder 2.0 plugin. The only difference is this one's called a pro version. And now when we click on Instant Builder 2.0 on the left hand side of our WordPress dashboard, we now have a new option that is called funnels. And when we click on this, we can now create full blown funnels in a matter of just a few clicks. OK, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on create new funnel. And now we have a few options here. We need to give our funnel a name. This is just for you. So you know what the funnel is. So I'm going to call this my sales funnel number two. Next up, you need to choose the funnel type. Is it an opt-in funnel? Is it a sales funnel, a webinar funnel, or a launch funnel? So I'm going to make mine a sales funnel. And then again, we can see as we choose something, it kind of pre-populates down here with a standard funnel for us. Next up, we can choose a template set. Now, basically what this means is if you choose one of these, Instant Builder is going to go out there and they're going to pre-populate all of these different templates with the same type of template across all the different pages so that there is consistency and relation between all the different pages. You don't have to choose one of these template sets if you don't want to. You can see there are different options here and you can see how each page is going to be kind of related. So you can choose one of these different sets of templates or you can go in here individually and change each template by yourself by clicking on the little blue button here that says choose template. I can go in here and I can change each individual template for my funnel to whatever I want. Okay. Also what we can see here is right now we have a sales page, an upsell page, a downsell page and a download page. That's the standard funnel. We can remove any of these pages if we want to, just like that. I can have a sales page go directly to the download page, for example, or we can add pages by clicking the plus symbol. So I can click plus there. I can change this from a squeeze page. I can make this a upsell page, for example. I can add another button here. I can add another upsell page. Then maybe I want to add one more and make this a download page or a downsell page. I'm sorry. Let me go ahead and choose my orange set one more time. And now that I have all my pages matching, I now have a full length funnel set up and ready to go. So I'm going to click on create funnel. And once that creates for me, we can see that we now have a list of our pages here. Now we can go in individually and edit each one of these pages to fit our needs by clicking on the edit button here. So for the sales page, I can go ahead and click on edit there. The sales page is going to pop up instantly for us to edit. And now we can go through here and customize the sales page however we would like. You also want to make sure that when you are done editing all these different pages, that you make sure you publish these pages right now. They're by default, they're going to be in the draft status. So you want to make sure that you click on the gear symbol over here and go to publish so that that page will then be live. Then you want to make sure that you link your pages together. So for example, when someone buys from my sales page in this particular sales funnel, I want to make sure that I redirect them to my upsell page. And if they purchase that, I want to make sure that I redirect them to my other upsell page and so forth. So for example, on my downsell page, this is my last offer before the download page. So I want to make sure I edit this here. When that pops up, we can see this is a one-time special offer here. I want to make sure I scroll down here to where it says, no, thanks. I want to skip this offer. I want to make sure I edit this. And I want to make sure I insert my download page here so that when they hit no thanks, they get taken to their download. And same thing for my other pages. I want to make sure I link them together. Okay. Now we go back to my funnel manager here. Now you can do this for anything. And that's the power with this plugin. And a matter of clicks, you have a full length funnel with all matching templates that you can use. Let's create one more really quick. Let's create an opt-in funnel. Okay. Make sure I choose my opt-in funnel here. Again, we don't have to choose a template set. Instead, we can go in here and we can choose our own templates for each page. I like to use the template sets because it has consistency throughout the entire funnel and it looks familiar to my visitor. So I'm going to choose the classic hybrid here. We can see they all look alike. So I have my squeeze page. It's going to redirect them to a confirmation page. that lets them know that they need to check their email address and confirm it. And then on email confirmation, we're going to redirect them to our thank you page. Now, maybe I want to squeeze in an offer here. For example, let's say once they opt in, I want to go ahead and squeeze in 
a quick little upsell page. So that way I can try to make a little bit of money right when they opt in. If they say no, we're going to redirect them to my confirmation page to have them check their email and then to the thank you page. And then of course, if you're not doing a two-step opt-in for your email service provider, we can remove that. And when they hit no thanks, redirect them directly to your thank you page. Then we just click on create funnel. And of course, once that funnel is created, we need to go in here. We can edit these different pages by clicking on the edit option here. We need to make sure that we link our squeeze page to our autoresponder and then redirect them to our upsell page and our thank you page. Also within our funnel management here, we can change the permalink of every single page that we have by clicking on this button here. So if I don't want my thank you page to be backslash opt-in funnel thank you page, I can just click on the permalink button here and make that whatever I want to make that. We can also view the stats of each page within our funnel manager. And by clicking on the gear symbol here, we can duplicate this page. We can set up a split test variation for our funnel. We can save this page as HTML. We can remove it from the funnel. And of course, we need to publish these pages so that they go live on our website. Also, what we can do is we can export our pages as HTML. And this is going to export our entire funnel as HTML in a zip format so that you can upload it to a different website, which is a really cool feature that we have here. And that's just how easy it is to build full length funnels with matching themes, consistent themes throughout the whole thing using our funnel plugin.